this short lesson also focuses on fixed assets. In this instance, we calculating and uh, reporting on the sale of a fixed asset. So first up, fixed assets. The following information relates to the fixed asset note of just time foot financially end 28th Feb 2021. Required, uh, the business cal depreciates equipment at 20% per annum diminishing balance. On 30th November 2020, uh, three months before year end, they decided to trade in a photocopy machine for a new model. Calculate the loss on the photocopy machine. I guess the question could have just told us calculate the profit or loss, but at least we do know that if we work out this answer and we get a profit, we might have made a mistake. So let's get into it. This photocopy machine is under D, cost of the machine, carrying value of the machine, and depreciation in the previous year. We got to work out carrying value at this year and depreciation for this year, and then eventually arrive at a profit or loss on sale of asset. So although I've got an answer sheet right here, I'm going to do my workings right at the question paper so we can we don't need to toggle between different bits of information on different pages. So I'm still a bit old fashioned about this. I would prefer to do an asset disposal account because that way I can see it in terms of debits and credits. So here goes that 320,000 equipment, 320,000. The asset has now been moved to asset disposal. Next up, we're going to bring in accumulated depreciation. But the accumulated depreciation figure is not given at beginning of year, but we got carrying value. And so we can go with, let me change the color here for this workings, and you'll see why just now. Let's go with a deep purple, accumulated depreciation. It'll be the 320,000 that it cost us, minus the carrying value of 224. And we arrive at 96,000 as our accumulated depreciation at beginning of year. So that's 96,000 at beginning of year. And we need to add current depreciation to it. I'm going to change my colors here. Some green maybe. Now we proceed to work out current depreciation. Noting that their depreciation methodology is 30% on diminishing balance. So we take the 320,000 and... So we take that 320,000 and we multiply, sorry, we minus the 96,000 from it and we place all of that over one, multiply that by the 30% and it was sold on first, on 30th November, on 30th November, right? So there's December to run, January to run and February to run, three months to run, which meant that nine months ran on this one, March to 30th November. And we're getting a depreciation charge of 50,000. 400. And we bring in that 50,400 to it. And we add that up. We arrive at an answer of 146,400. And then we traded it in. So we're bringing in creditors control, although we're not doing a ledger account. So we don't have to be so fussy about this. But if you had to do the asset disposal account, here it is all sitting in for you. So trade it in for 88,000 rands. That's that 88,000. And now we got to work out whether we made a profit or a loss on the sale of this. But they've already told us there was a loss. So that 320,000, we move that forward. And 320,000 minus 146,400 minus 88,000 leaves us with an amount of 85,600 as the loss on sale of asset. So now you're probably thinking, what if I had to be using the answer sheet? How would I do this? Let's start with that 320,000 minus 96,000 plus 50,400 minus the 88,000 is equal to that loss of 85,600. And so if you showed the answer only like that, you'd still get full marks six out of six. But here's a full set of workings that showed us how we got to that answer. Okay, that was the loss on the photocopy machine. Now we calculate depreciation on the new photocopy machine and on the older equipment that we didn't sell. So depreciation on the new photocopying machine. Let's check and let's get a color change in here. Bring in some green. The new photocopy machine was delivered on 1st December, 1st December, so December, January, February to run, and we paid 410,000 for it. So pretty simple calculation. 
410,000. Even though it's diminishing balance, there is no depreciation. We bought it in a current year times 30 over 100 times 3 over 12. And that should give us an answer of 30,750 depreciation on new photocopying machine. Reasonably straightforward one. However, there's a fair bit of complexities on this one. And I need you to pay more careful attention as we work our way through the remaining equipment that stayed with us. So here goes. Equipment cost at beginning of year, 2.1 million. Let's bring that into account. Cost, 2 million, 100,000. The old one that we sold, it cost us 320,000. We removed that and we arrive at 1,700,000. And 80,000 rands. Let's check how we got to those. There's the old one we sold, which had a cost of 320,000. And there's all our equipment with a cost of 2,100,000. And so we get our net cost of 1,780,000 right there. Next, we've got to work the accumulated depreciation figures as well because they're working on diminishing balance here. So let's start on that. Accumulated depreciation at beginning of year on everything was 1,440,000. So accumulated depreciation, 1,440,000. We now, as we have removed the old equipment from the picture, we got to remove all the depreciation at the beginning of the year that was attributable to the old equipment from here. I think we have that answer somewhere here. Here it is, that 96,000 or that 96 as we moved it there. So we take that. 96,000 out and 1,440,000 minus 96 gives us 1,344,000. Now we can start moving numbers forward. 1,780,000 minus 1,344,000. All that over 1 times 30% and that answer is going to go in there. So we put that in our calculator, 1780 000 minus 1344000 as is equal to, and we go on times 30%, and we arrive at an answer of 130,800. Of course, if they asked you for the total depreciation figure, you'd add these two up, and you'd get 161550. They didn't ask for that, so there's no need to show the total depreciation at year end on equipment that stayed with us the entire year or equipment that joined us during the course of the year. And that completes this particular section, which is a bit of a challenge, especially when you have all these things happening. Like number one, you own a fair bit of equipment. Number two, you sell some of the equipment. Number three, you got some equipment that stayed the whole year with you. And number four, you got some new equipment that joined you partially through the year. All of those require you to do a great deal of separation of the information and then working out those numbers, crunching those numbers and finally getting it answers that the question paper requires of you. I trust that you found this segment of work useful enough in your learning experience. Thank you.